Guten Tag und herzlich willkommen. Speedrandale ist wieder angesagt und wir haben viele alte Bekannte. Hier, Sie kennt ihr natürlich. Mhm. Ja, aber wenn ihr fleißig zugeschaut habt in den letzten Jahren, könnt ihr auch, äh, kennt ihr auch unsere beiden Gäste. Nämlich zu einem haben wir hier Dwango AC. Dwango, nice to have you here. Glad to be here. Uh, and we have here... Oh yeah. Auf, auf, auf Fake. <lacht> Can do this. Äh, und wir haben natürlich, and we have here, den guten alten Testbots. New and improved Testbots, so to speak. Äh, Leute, wundert euch nicht, Dwango und Testbots kommen natürlich aus den Vereinigten Staaten. Wie beim letzten Mal, wo äh, die beiden hier gewesen sind, werden wir jetzt auf Englisch dann wechseln. Ich hoffe, das ist okay für euch, aber äh, wenn nicht, dann lernt es einfach. <lacht> Gute so. Ansage, endlich mal jemand, der es ausspricht. <lacht> so, Dwango, I just uh, introduced all of us uh, to our audience. We're very happy to have you and Tessbot uh, back here. How you've been in the past years? Oh, it's been a wild time. But the one thing that I can say that has really amped up since the last time I was able to come to Rocket Beans is how much amazing things we've been able to do for charity. Uh, since the last time I've seen you, uh, we've done multiple Games Done Quick and European Speedrun Assembly and other types of event content. And at this point in time, Taskbot content at charity events has now raised over 1.3 million US dollars wow. for charity. That's great. Very, so. very respectable. Yeah, awesome. So it, it, it's awesome anyway that we can combine speedruns with charity together so that it's that's good in a lot of ways. Yes. Yeah, uh, and we're especially happy, of course, uh, we're not uh, collecting for charity uh, now. Maybe next time. Maybe it works <laughs> okay. out next time. Uh, but uh, if people were watching um, when we were recording this, it happened recently, the Summer Games Done Quick. You and Testbot have been there with other people and you've been preparing a project for a long time uh, involving uh, Zelda Ocarina of Time and especially, uh, so to speak, a lost beta content. Yes, can, can you explain what, what you've done there? So the original release of Ocarina of Time on this gold cartridge. Uh, this is the 1.0 release of Ocarina of Time in for the US, uh, but it's only a little bit different than what was released here by a couple of bytes. Mm -hmm. uh, this cartridge has a lot of content that they left on it that we have found. And over the course of many decades at this point, it's, mm -hmm. it's 20, 23 years and counting, various people have done dives into the code and the assets on this cartridge and yeah. have found some really amazing things. Now, I might need to introduce a little bit of what Taskbot is capable of. Of course, of course. Uh, people who are not familiar with Taskbot, this is him. As we said, new and improved, I think last time he was a little bit looking like another familiar device. Yes, he was looking a little too familiar. And because of certain games like Smash Brothers, mm -hmm. we kind of wanted to move away from Taskbot's old form. So this is still Taskbot. Does it especially build shell for him? Yes. He's independent. He can be picked up and carried around. Mm -hmm. And He's got the eyes. Yes, and someone here from Germany actually programmed those eyes to do the things you're seeing them seeing him do right now. So, oh, great! Yes, uh, this was a multinational effort. Um, so, can and can you explain how much a Bitcoin is worth? <laughs> I can, but last actually, time I was really? here, it was worth a lot less, <laughs> uh, which is kind of crazy because it's down so much right now. But anyway, so. The specific project that we're working on has a little nuance in that it's a very big departure from what we would normally see out of Taskbot. Taskbot typically is going to play video games perfectly. Mm -hmm. So if you've ever seen task content on an emulator, it's a series of button presses that completes a game perfectly. And usually it's run in an emulator that emulates the original console. Mm -hmm. Typically, these are found at places like testvideos.org. I am still a senior staff member of testvideos.org, so I'm also representing that community. Um, but typically, you would not have these running on a real console. And that's where Taskbot comes in. Mm -hmm. Taskbot uses a replay device. In this case, in his hands, he is holding a TASTM32 board made by our community member, Onosaurus. Uh, we technically do sell these, but not for profit. It's It's a cottage industry. There's not very many people that really want to do this. Um, so Taskbot has this replay device that pretends to be a controller. And when we play back a tool-assisted speedrun made in an emulator on a real console, mm -hmm. we're playing back a series of button presses. If you've ever seen a player piano that's playing back 
notes on a piano roll. Mm -hmm. It's the same exact concept. Someone in advance composed a song, plays back an entire song on the player piano. We are tool-assisted speedrun authors that are creating and are composing a perfect playthrough of a video game. Okay. And Taskbot dutifully plays back that sequence of button presses to beat games extremely fast. All right. I believe the last time that I was here, we demonstrated some very interesting gameplay. <laughs> yes, there were some very inter interesting things. Uh, anyway, I'm, I'm always fascinated by tool-assisted uh, things, uh, especially with speed running, because it shows what could be capable. Uh, what could what uh, you just uh, you could just do with uh, button presses, so to speak. It's just button presses, but it's so many that they can do uh, quite magical things. And you are going to see a fair bit of magic today. In the past, <laughs> I have shown what we call ACE, Arbitrary Code Execution. It's where we find a glitch in a game that allows us to take over the game and then the console and then adjust the game in certain ways, maybe change the rules a little bit. This was famously something we did, uh, famous is maybe not quite the right word, but at least oh, say famous scene, <laughs> uh, where uh, someone from the TAS Videos community named Lord Tom took Super Mario Brothers 3, found an ace exploit, took advantage of that to create an entirely new storyline that had you coloring a dinosaur and <laughs> had Mario upside down and doing all kinds of crazy things. So that was an example of what we could do. This is what you are going to see in action. This ace uh, concept is what you're going to see in action, but on a much, much larger scale. Okay. So... What I'm going to have you do is you're going to play while Taskbot helps you. Okay. <laughs> I hope I can do it. So when's the last time you finished or played Ocarina of Time? Uh, it's about 15, 16, maybe more years. Well, this is going to be fun because there are a lot yeah, of interesting things. Yeah. So uh, before we start, of course, when you showed um, these things at uh, GDQ, it was then uh, put together like like a speed run, so to speak. There was a timer running. I think when we're playing now, a timer doesn't make very much sense. No. And even then, we referred to it as a showcase. Because exactly. We were showing so, so, things off. And uh, this is this is not exactly the same because we're playing. But it's, of course, the same source we're using here now. Um, and uh, Taskbot is doing his work uh, in, uh, in the background. Uh, when we talk about uh, beta content for Ocarina of Time, there are things that are, as you said, on the cartridge, uh, on the original cartridge there. There are things that have been shown through screenshots or speculated stuff. Yes. Um, and uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, correct me as far as I've seen, this is not only stuff that's on the on the cartridge because of the arbitrary code execution uh, is kind of an interpretation how this uh, content would have looked like if it would be in the uh, uh, inside in the cartridge in the game. Yeah? Correct. And we sourced from a number of different communities. Now, I need to pause here for a second. And when I say we, I mean over 25 people who put effort into what you're about to see. Okay. The main pillar, the primary person who brought everything together was our director, Soren. Save State played this live. They were amazing at Summer Games Done Quick 2022. I acted as the executive producer, but there was a huge team of other people who dove into the lore and looked at the history mm -hmm. and recreated art from advertisements that Nintendo mm -hmm. released. Famously, for instance, in an early ad that was on TV in Japan, they showed Link holding the Triforce, but that was never included in the game. Ah. So there were a lot of ads and different uh, media published by Nintendo themselves that uh, we sourced from, as well as fan-made lore and various different things that were theories at the time in the late 90s when a lot of people were talking about this game. Hmm. So when, when I say that you are looking at beta content that really is on the cartridge, that means that it really was left there by the developers and remained on the cartridge even when they shipped it. They didn't remove it from the image like they should have. Mm -hmm. Everything else you see was added by us to stitch together a story that ties all of those beta elements together. <laughs> so understand this really is a completely unmodified Nintendo console other than we are using a passive uh, uh, tap of the RGB video signals so mm -hmm. we can get a clean image on the screen for you. It doesn't change the gameplay in any way. Uh, the one alteration we're doing for this studio time is... We are using a shortcut that patches only 271 bytes, very small amount of data, just to make the very initial first initial setup a lot easier for you. 
Safe right. State is a world record holder at Ocarina of Time, and you haven't played it in 15 years. Yeah. <laughs> so I am not going to make you get very so precise. That's, that's, thank he, you. <laughs> he, he watched how Thief Bug was doing it in yeah. his Ocarina t- uh, runs, and it wasn't that hard. So. Yeah, uh, I, can, I can do that. <laughs> it wasn't that hard. <laughs> we, I recently came from, uh, as of the recording of this, uh, recently came from May Contain Hackers in the Netherlands. We worked with a person who was familiar with Ocarina of Time who had played it recently, mm-hmm. and uh, they spent several days trying to practice, and it still befuddled them. <laughs> so it's not easy to do that part of the ACE setup. So we will use a shortcut ROM that allows TaskBot to just walk forward and trigger it right away. It's just a time-saving measure. Uh, uh, that's very save generous. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's how we see it. There, there you have the original uh, behind, the original uh, 1.0 release of yes, that is correct. Arena. Yeah, I only have the European one. It's not golden, but what okay. can you do? <laughs> so we are using a flash cart. What we did to create this, we took the original gold cart. I used an infinite NES Lives reader to read the contents of that gold cart off myself. Mm-hmm. We made a patch of 271 bytes and then put that on an EverDrive flashcard made out of Ukraine. They're kind of hard to get right now, but I highly recommend the uh, EverDrive. Uh, um, this one in particular is the EverDrive uh, X7, and mm-hmm. they are extraordinarily nice uh, for this kind of mm-hmm. testing and prototyping. And uh, ROM, uh, ROM, ROMs are made by the fan community. So yeah. that's what you're seeing here in that console, but otherwise we're playing on the original game. So mm-hmm. ready? Yeah, of All course. Right. I don't have to be ready. You have to be ready. <laughs> uh, I think I am. <laughs> <laughs> so where well, we can go to the in-game? Where are we now? We're just uh, at the beginning of the game at the Kokiri uh, Forest. That's kind of dark. correct. Yeah. So what I want you to do is hop off that platform there. So we've just started the game fresh. Uh, we only have three hearts. Nothing really has happened. So go up that hill. Yeah. And yep, stop right there. Don't stop there. There you go. And uh, don't go anywhere. We're mm-hmm. going to switch TaskBot to connect to controller port one. Now, TaskBot is already connected to controller ports two, three, and four. So there are four controller ports on a Nintendo 64. TaskBot is now connected to all of them, and I'm starting him now. So, TaskBot has taken over controller port one, and uh, he's going to do some really, really derpy things. Mm-hmm. What's happening here is we're pressing buttons that are meaningful to. Uh, to the console as code, but they're not too sane when Link is just bouncing around. Now, there's a little green line in the upper left corner. That tells us that we are now ready for the next stage. So we're now done with controller port one. TaskBot is only using controller ports two, three, and four from the rest of the run. And as of right now, TaskBot is continuing to send data across controller ports two, three, and four, and will for the next several minutes. So we're going to just start that part. Now, what I want you to do Mm -hmm. is uh, enter and exit any any building. doesn't matter which one. All right. There's a close one. That one over there on the right will do. That'll work too. All right. So what we're doing here is we're just cleaning up some stuff that was left over after after we glitched out the game a little bit. Your door is a little bit farther to your left. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay, there we go. <laughs> or your right, I should say. Okay. Oh. Now we're at the graveyard. Well, well was it intended? No, that was not <laughs> okay. intended. Uh, I forgot about that house. That was the one house you could not go into. <laughs> ah. I already messed it up. <laughs> Tia, what are you doing? Oh. <laughs> well, I don't know what happens when you go back through that door. Let's try it again. I don't think it's going to put you back where we came from. Maybe you'll be in uh, Majora's Mask. Want to try? Yeah, sure. Uh, oh, no, oh, it's a one-way it's door. Uh, it's too oh, early. man. Yay. So you, now you're in Kakariko. Maybe you have to walk back. Uh, it's okay. Uh, so what I'm going to actually have you do is uh, open and close your start menu. All right. And now we're at a state where uh, we're continuing to load data in the background. Mm-hmm. So far, we haven't crashed anything. So that's good. Um, but uh, we will probably want to go back to uh, our starting location. So wh- what I'm going to have you do mm-hmm. is we're going to cheat. We have a, a, a little bit of code that we added to help warp to a different location. I'm just going to look up the code here for you. Okay. Uh, it is going to involve pressing a series of, of controller buttons at the same time. So you're going to press left, right, Z, B, and as soon as I get the last one here, 
Let me give you the last I mean, the L and R button was left and right? That's correct. Mm. Uh, you are going to do uh, the D-pad up, so... Okay. So left, Z, uh, first up. R. Yeah, no, uh, so left and yeah, left up here. Mm -hmm. Then R, and hold it at the same time. Oh. And then R, and then Z underneath. Set. And then B, uh -huh. and C, and uh, and uh, D up, digital pad up. There you go. So Easy. we just warped back to the sacred forest meadow. All right. Now, uh, what we need to do now is get you some gear. So what I want you to do is open your start menu. Mm hmm And press L. Okay, oh. so this is our first bit of beta content. The developers left their debug menu on the cartridge. All we've done is added a shortcut for you uh, to, to make it possible to get there quicker. Uh, so what we're going to do here is put together a series of, uh, of combinations of, of values here that are going to give you the rupees you need to mm -hmm. buy things, uh, give you the maximum number of hearts because we don't want you dying. Yeah. Uh, and you will face peril. Oh. <laughs> um, so we're also going to give you all of the dungeon completion because this is a, Why not? a short show and we don't really want you to have to spend six hours grinding. I, I take those. So, I needed several months for that. I know, right? <laughs> You're a noob. Shame no. on you. <laughs> okay, so we have a chart here that we'll be matching. Yeah. yeah. I have it here if you want. Yeah. I'll hold it for you. Oh, all right. Over. Let's so see. If now we have the this. exciting entering numbers part. I know, right? Yeah. Uh, if, if we recall back to, I think it was the Majora's Mask run from Thief Buck, I think we did play the same song 64 times. No, was it Majora's Mask? I think it was Majora's yeah. Mask with the song. But the uh, weird version of that, I think. Yeah, uh, it was. I think it was the Wii version, if I'm not mistaken. But could be, they, they're, they're all. We're familiar with doing uh, repeating tasks here. So the, these debug menus, of course, normally, as the name implies, uh, some games have them left, uh, are used uh, during the programming to give the oh, programmer sorry. stuff to try out without playing um, uh, that far themselves if necessary. Most of the time, those debug menus are removed from games when they're uh, then uh, put out on sale. But sometimes we have luck and they're still in there. Yeah, and in this case, they left it on the cartridge. We're not really sure why, but... Is there is there a way to access it uh, without uh, going into the code or using... Uh, it's it's not something that's accessible. Okay. So we we patched the game in... Uh, we've patched the game in a variety of ways. We actually even patched a couple of microcode things to prevent bugs that we have since been discovered by the community mm -hmm. over the past 20 years. Uh, but that was just to make things a little safer. So these wow. buttons are really weird. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure why are. they're mapped the way they are. You got to find the right whoa, one. Whoa, whoa, I don't know what button that, that is. <laughs> there you go. No. Uh, another button we get okay, to. Okay, okay. I think one more, one more. Yeah, yeah, yeah there, there we go. We go. <laughs> this menu is very strange uh, because to go up, you press right and all kinds of other weird things. It's, it's very, very strange. There's a one. Yep. And these get a lot easier. All right. So we just saved several hours of pain. Now press right. L to get out of there. And bam, Ooh. you now have items. Look Whoa. at this. So you'll want to map uh, your ocarina and... Uh, eh, it's probably it for now. Oh, and map your boomerang as well. You're going to want that. There? Yeah. Yep. All right. All right. So now that you're here, let's, uh, let's have you have some fun. So press L and down at the same time. Uh, on just, the D-pad? Uh, just L and then, yeah, hold down L and then press down on the D-pad. Yo, okay. Wow, that is an interesting camera angle. Uh, I know that, that I know, bird. I know so that, that is a moment. <laughs> I've never launched it in this location. I don't know exactly where it is in space. Where did it go? I don't know. It'll probably shoot at you soon, though. So I, so this, no. this, this part I remember a bit. I don't remember if I used it at a, an edited ROM or if it was... Oh, there no, it is. The cheat code. Oh, there it is, yeah. So they added... The, 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 the Star Fox Star Wing? Yes. So, so in, from, in this, this game, this, huh? This, this one I know. So, so this is was a to, to, to test out the Z, uh, the Z targeting, and it right. has the pattern like uh, Volvagia, I think. That's is the name. correct. That's yeah. how they tested that initially. So to destroy, oh. yes, it will hurt you. Um, not very much, but you're going to want to use your boomerang <laughs> and Z target it and whack it. Well, uh, with Z. Uh, right, yes. Okay. Do it again? It's fleeing. Oh, yeah. Hey! 
Wait it doesn't it. like Wait you. for it. I've never spawned it here, nor have I ever been here. So with <laughs> this is a very interesting state we're in. Where did it that's go? Oh, that's, oh, there, that's, there, that's very dangerous. Coming. There, we need. Can, can you put Slippy Toad in there? <laughs> I don't believe they included that on the cartridge. You, you have, to, really you have to put him in there. Where is he? <laughs> He's getting stuck on the wall, which is hilarious. Again. There we there go. You go. Oh, it's burning up. Those were also graphics that were in the original cartridge, which is pretty interesting. Yeah. Now, uh, we're going to save a little bit of time because we, we kind of went to the wrong place and wandered around a little bit. So what I'm going to what I'm going to have you do is mm -hmm. go back through this section and exit the forest. Uh, so you're going to yeah. go yeah to your right. D down the yeah down, down there thing. all right and try not to get hit by stuff yeah there's a big um, giant <laughs> at the back okay. oh no that's only when you're adult oh is it like this yes but there is a ladder to make your escape a little bit more convenient so by taking this warp we actually skipped some of the content which we showed at summer games done quick and that content involved having link go through the same sequence in the Lost Forest as you would in the original Legend of Zelda game. You go down here? Spring rüber no, you can just hop over the top. Yeah. You can, you can I don't like this. So, in the original Ze Legend of Zelda game released on the, on the NES, you had to get lost in the forest, the Lost Woods, out of a very specific pattern, which was north, west, south, west. Mm -hmm. Well... And now? Uh, you're, Just take a door and you're... Uh, I believe it... Well, pause there for a sec. Oh, nope, that's the wrong door. Oh. <laughs> well, it's okay. Can so I go we'll back? just go back in, yeah. yeah. So normally you would have to do this whole pattern. Now what I want you to do is go left, I believe. Unless I'm mistaken. I think it's over here. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay, so we'll pause for just a second. One of the things that we skipped over was a scene where we got lost in the Lost Woods out mm -hmm. of a north exit, then a west exit, then a south exit, then a west exit. And when you re-entered the Lost Woods, you would hear do 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 mm -hmm. And you would find a, co a Kokeri boy who wanted a bug. And not just any bug, a special bug. Mm -hmm. So we would ha we had a safe state, went to the bazaar, and went to, went to the town outside of the castle, bought a beta butterfly, which is a real item that was in the cartridge. Mm -hmm. Now, the whole bit about the exits, that was something we added to stitch everything together. Okay. But nevertheless, in the original playthrough that uh, that uh, Save State did, we delivered the butterfly back to the boy and he gave us um, a uh, he gave us a special uh, thing that we're going to take advantage of. So, what I want you to do now is get on to the platform here. So, exit the menu. And walk onto there mm -hmm. and talk to him. You'll have to Z target him. Oh, yeah. Oh, whoops. <laughs> you have to stand on the middle there, or on the. Dude, go up. All right. How do I talk? That's a great question. Like this. All right. Right? Oh, you know what? It didn't set the flags. We get to do this anyway. That's okay. So now we can go to Hyrule and then to the quest well, you. Yeah, so hmm. we can cheat a little bit, um, and we also have the uh, we also have the ocarina, so we can we can warp there. Uh, oh, so yeah. uh, we'll, we'll we'll just make this uh, we'll make quick work of this. Mm -hmm. So uh, do <laughs> do you remember the warp to uh, to the time, uh, Temple of Time? Mm, I think uh, L R. ZBA? Oh, we're not going to do that. We'll, oh, we're going to oh, use the, the Ocarina. Play, play ah. the music. It's, ah, okay, is, okay, it okay. The, is it the Hymn of Time? Or? Yes, it'll be no? the Prelude of Light is what you'll be playing. So um, if you press down to open up your Ocarina, mm -hmm. you should be able to play now. Um, okay. The Prelude of Light is not easily remembered, and you can't easily look it up in the menu because when we load in and patch everything, it, it kind of corrupts the graphics just a little bit. Okay. So we'll, we'll pull up the Prelude of, of Light song for you. Have you warp there? Uh, what we're going to do is do things a little out of order. We're going to get the butterfly uh, from the shop before he actually asks for it. This one? Yes. All right. There you go. <coughs> that wasn't too hard. No, these are easy. <laughs> okay. So this quest you described, this would have been the, the stitching you did, so to speak, to include the beta content with a little bit, little bit of story. 
That's right. So go ahead and exit the temple. Yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. Go into town. You'll see that uh, it's probably still nighttime. Oh, no, it's daytime now. We spent so much time out there. Yeah. It's okay. So head into the town. You're going to go to your right. I got to tell you, I always got lost here uh, when I was playing when I was younger. And uh, it always confused me where you were supposed to go here. Go to your right and you'll see a market, a uh, bazaar. Whoops. Hmm? You went up. <laughs> oh. It's okay. You have to Weird see camera. relative here. It's, it's pre-rendered. <laughs> yes. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, there you go. And yep. go one more, one more over. Yeah, right there. This one, okay. Now, the only concern I have is I, I'm, I'm not sure the flag was set. So talk to the shop owner. And uh, look to the right there. And, oh, there's uh, the butterfly. There it is. Over, the, over to the right. This one? Yeah. Go ahead and buy that. So yeah, in the normal sure. game there, or in the finished game, there is no butterfly, but that was uh, left as an uh, object. So there's nothing else you need to buy. Okay. Um, now, this butterfly is actually beta content in the cartridge. Yeah. Uh, what you'll want to do now is to warp back to the uh, uh, the forest temple, uh, mm -hmm. which was, oh, you know, I should have these songs memorized myself. Yeah. Right? What are you doing? Uh, yeah. warping, warping back to the forest temple. It, uh, the Minuet of the Forest is the song name. Uh, I know the song name. And uh, the problem is that I'm, the reason I can't remember these is the last time I played through the Ocarina, of, the, the game Legend of Zelda Ocarina mm -hmm. of Time, I played it on the 3DS remake, and the buttons are in completely different yeah, 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 So sure. <laughs> I have them memorized, but not for this controller. Okay. So here. Yes. Uh, all right. A up, right, left, right, left. All right. All righty. Thank you, Gregor. I'm very glad that you're here to look things up. <laughs> <laughs> it's your role. And it's it's just Google. <laughs> yes. I didn't do a thing. Okay, go ahead and repeat that route of hopping back through to the forest. But this time, uh, when you get into the Lost Woods, you'll go left instead of straight. Uh, where's go, the exit? Uh, not uh, Behind you? Yes. Down the... There it is. Oh, there. <laughs> well, down the stairway. Are the are the controls coming back to you? Uh, yeah, kind of. <laughs> the N64 was such an interesting controller, such an interesting concept. What I always find unique about the Nintendo 64 is the way they set up the controller with the strange grip style because they weren't sure the analog stick was going to catch on. They were worried that they might have people that didn't like it. So they made it so that it could still work as a normal controller, even if the analog stick never got used. So the D-pad, you mean? D-pad wasn't used much in my house, at least. Oh, that's kind of funny. But they designed it because they thought the analog stick was Yeah, that, that's, that's what they thought. I just used the analog turn stick. Turn left. Left? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> and there he is. Oh. Right there. So go talk yeah. to him. He's going to want that butterfly you have. So he's going through his initial dialogue. So what you want to do is, if you talk to him again, he'll probably say the same thing. Um, you should be able to pull out the bug in your menu. So go to start. Mm -hmm. And this one? Yep, put that on. Yeah, there you go. All right. Now, does he target him? And pull out the bug. The bug. Yep. All right. There you go. Can't go any faster? That's Ocarina. It shouldn't <laughs> go faster. <laughs> well, you'll want to read this dialogue because anything that's that's new, we didn't want to accidentally skip over. So oh, okay, it okay. does kind of force you to read it, but that's All okay. Right. Okay, so now to get out quickly, you can just walk through uh, one of the exits that uh, it exits immediately. I think the one to no your what? right will. Oh, this one. Uh, no, wait, is that a warp? I can't remember. Uh, yeah, go out the left. I have this. the one to your, yeah, well, yeah, that'll work. Okay. <laughs> sure. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Heck, you might you might even walk all the way there. Yeah, walk away. Let's just see where you go. Oh, you maybe you'll make it even. Yeah, do you remember where to go? Nope. Mm, <laughs> it's nope. okay. This warped you out to the front. That's all right. You can turn right and back around, and this is actually shorter. So exiting that way will be faster. So if you look behind you, there is the entrance to the Lost Woods. You mean... Yeah, that yeah. where you just came from. Okay. Yeah. So I go back. Yep. All right. And now you can look to your left. And now we have the... Yep, now we have what we need. 
Yeah, I guess uh, I think you can talk to the Skull Kid again. Yep, now you'll talk to the Skull Kid. Now you have the item he wants. Oh, he's smelling something. Now, I didn't mention it, but magic the powder. graphic you saw there... Give it back, yeah, right? Yes. The magic powder was introduced in Link's Awakening and also used in... Link of the Past. Link to the Past. Link to the Past, yes. But here it's called the Odd Potion and is used in a, fe in a fetch quest or a, a trading quest. Mm -hmm. But that was originally in the game as magic powder. Oh, so. okay. Mm. At least we think. That one's a little bit more lore-oriented. <laughs> but the graphics were all there. Yeah, yeah and Link's Awakening, you could transform stuff with it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so here's where this is going to get tricky. You need to get some masks. So, you mm -hmm. don't currently have any masks. We're going to give you some. So press Start. Give press me some. L to pull up your menu. You're going to go to the lower right. Right now it says uh, 44. Lower right? Yeah, so it was, it was where it says 44. Of the oh, lower yeah, right of right, the big right. block there, sorry. Uh, and then left. Oh, yeah. Oh, that'll work too. <laughs> uh, change that to 39. 39? Yep, there this, you go. Okay. And exit out. Just With stop. the L button. Oh, yeah. And now you have a bunny hood mask, so go ahead and oh. pull that out. There you go. And uh, go talk to him with that. Yeah, there you go. Put them on. So oh, yeah. I have to put them on. All right, all right. Sprinkle some magic powder over the mask. Run with great speed. Now, oh. this is something from Majora's Mask. Yeah, I wanted huh. to say, so yeah, I'm getting them mixed up in my head because they're so similar in a lot of ways, but that was the way to run fast as a small as, as Link in Majora's Mask. Yes, so. but it was not coded in here. However, because the masks were all here and we had, they had all the elements, they just hadn't incorporated them yet. Okay. We think that they were intending to use that. Now, you're going to go back into the menu one more time, and now you need to switch which mask you have. Uh, normally, you would have to go all the way to the town and do a whole swap, and don't mm -hmm. do that. We're gonna we're gonna do it faster. So press L again and change that thirty nine to forty two. The answer to the life, the universe, and everything. <laughs> I probably should have had you do this in the other order because we're gonna have to swap back in. Forty two. Yep, forty two. There all you right. go. So now you have the Gerudo mask. No. So let's upgrade that as well. Uh, like this. Yep. Put them on. Now, in the original Ocarina of Time, this mask wasn't all that powerful. It definitely wouldn't charm most, not every, it wouldn't charm everyone, just some. But this one will even charm the Gerudo themselves. Mm. All right, so let's uh, let's exit this area. You don't need to do anything else here, but you might want to put on that new bunny mask you had. So go ahead and open up your menu instead of walking all the way to town and swapping it. Where's my bunny mask? Uh, you have to... Uh, well, because uh, you can only have one mask at a time in this game. Uh, yeah, you need to ex exchange them at the mask ass assessment, so go to the debug menu, I'd say, and yeah. back to, what was it, 39? Yeah, there is a way ah. to hold more than one mask in this game, but it involves a glitch I'm not going to make you memorize. So go ahead and uh, go uh, press start, go to the L menu. in the menu, okay. and then change that 42 back to a 39, and that will give you the... Uh, the, the bunny hood mask. Now, the interesting thing is what you're seeing here is exactly how the beta testers, or what I prefer to call test engineers, use this tool to go test the game, right? You're, you're discovering for yourself how much fun it is yeah. to be able to just, <laughs> you can give yourself what you need. And this is how the test engineers did this. So go ahead and exit out of the forest, out of the Lost Woods. You can put on the ears. It, uh, any exit but that one. Ah, yes, now you can go one? faster. Yay! Okay, so our next destination is all the way. Oh, it takes them off when you go through doors, but that's okay. You're gonna exit to the right. You're going to exit. Uh, yeah, you here. can jump down there. Yeah. Whee! Oh, that's a lot of fun. Whoa! <laughs> so. Uh, go through. Way? Yeah, go to your right. Yeah, go out there. So we're going to head all the way to uh, to the Gerudo Valley area. Mm. It's gonna, you're going to go all the way across the Hyrule, uh, Hyrule field, which tends to take a really long time, but the bunny hood really speeds this process up. So the fastest route is uh, to just pretty much veer to the left there a little bit and uh, you'll just go, yeah, you'll go right past Lon Lon Ranch there on the left. Mm -hmm. So while we're going through here... The Gerudo Valley, yeah? Yes. Uh, so while we're going through here, there's a couple of quick things to explain. We had TaskBot connected to controller ports 2, 3, and 4. 
and Taskbot was able to patch the game and place things into memory, specifically the expansion pack. You're going to want to veer to the right a little bit. It's the exit on the left on the map, or if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it basically. Yeah, 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 I see it. Yeah. <coughs> so a little bit more to the right there, you're headed down. There you go. Down here? Mm, nope. No. Yeah. To your right. Oh. There you go. The exit that's on your left on the map. Ah, this one. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. <laughs> I thought the south on one. To hang a hard left, so... you should be able to. You can, you can hop over that fence. There you go. Wait, yeah, no. Uh, yeah. You have to go on the other side. Yeah. <laughs> I should have warned you. <laughs> um, so, really quickly talking about this, the, this data we transferred. The Nintendo 64 has the ability to have a jumper pack or what's called an expansion memory pack. Majora's Mask fully utilized the expansion memory pack, but Ocarina of Time does not. Now, this Nintendo 64 has an original expansion pack in it, uh, unmodified. Uh, at this point, you're going to want to change back to your Gerudo mask. So, Aww. I, yeah, I know. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll get it back later. All right, so uh, back to 44, right? Uh, 42. Oh, 42. The answer sorry. to the life, the universe, and everything. Yeah. Um, so because the game Ocarina of Time does not use the expansion pack memory, it gives us a place that we can put the custom content that we added to stitch oh, okay. everything together. So, for instance, the code that you just saw for uh, having the Skull Kid react the way that he did, that's all being stored in the... Expansion pack. Now, just to expand, uh, explain uh, the storyline a little bit better, go ahead and walk right toward the gate and try to get in. Should I uh, put on the mask? Sorry, not, not yet. yet. Okay. Yeah. Through here? Yeah. Go talk to her. Mm -hmm. So I'd say no entry for little kids. Mm -hmm. Definitely not. So run away for a little bit so she can't see you doing your Superman act. Mm -hmm. That should be good enough. Now put on your mask. There you go. Now go talk to her again. Now your mask has been powered up by the Skull Kid and... Mm. Your disguise so with, has worked. So with the magic uh, of the Skull Kids, they now think we're a little Gerudo Kids. Yep, that's right. They let us in. Now, you can talk to the other folks here if you want to. There's a lot of various things we added. So if you talk to them, they have custom messages for you. Hmm. Was there any way in the original to enter like this? This early no. in the game? No. No. Well. And this dialogue is completely custom, written by our writing team, and so added to the game. So as you said, mm. you're using the, the things that Taskbot is writing, so to speak, through the controller ports are stored in the expansion pack and the four megabytes. Yeah? That's correct, yes. Okay. We take about two and a half megabytes in total for all of the assets that we uploaded, including the, uh, animations, uh, graphics, sound files, the text for the scripting, camera movements, things like that. Do I go this way now? Yes. yes. All right. Yes. And now what you're seeing here is the original Nintendo 64 hardware with the original Ocarina of Time engine, but you're cheating. So make sure you got your Gerudo mask on. Is it on? Yeah. It's yeah. On. Now it's... So head on into your right. I love this music. Oh, I so love this music. And I love remixes of this music. Yeah. <laughs> and I love this music on repeat. Go left and go through the central door that's recessed there to your right a little bit. This one? Yeah, just go th right through there. Go on in and hang a right. Yes, you'll want that. <laughs> I don't want you to get kicked out. I'm getting big flashbacks of stealthing around. This way? Here. Yep, but you can just talk to her if you want. Royal family of Hyrule is forsaken on people. Hmm. So this is based on some lore and some backstory. Go ahead and talk to her. Her? Yeah. <laughs> Who's that? Uh, Naburu, the, is she the chief of the Gerudos? Yes, she is. And this is all new, so take the time to absorb and enjoy. Mm -hmm. So she calls the girls, uh, the, she calls the guards away. All Gerudo are women. Mm-hmm. Except one more. Oh, she's on to us, though. Hmm. Uh, 
That's pretty interesting. Normally you meet her, I think, is it the first time at the temple? Uh, I would say at the temple. The yeah. Maria. I don't think she was in the Gerudo Fortress back there. But now we have an, an early meeting, so to speak. Yes. And this story is all being played out in front of you. The content of the story, is it also something known through um, beta? Stuff? No, all you're seeing here is lore and fan fiction and okay. our own great. interpretation. This is great? Yeah. Well, you're going to like what happens next. All right. Oh, the full song of time. Mm. The Desert Colossus has two halves, and we assume they had time travel in mind for it. Yeah, that's a temple. You have to visit uh, parts of it as a youngling as, and as an adult, but there are different parts. Mm -hmm. huh? So a time-traveling hero. Normally you only transition once, but it appears that in development they expected you to be able to go back and forth mm. multiple times. So... Teach me, please. So S.H.I.E.L.D. teaches us the full song of time that'll help us to get to the Colossus. And I want to, uh, right? You can say no if you want. See what happens. Okay. <laughs> She's not going to let you say no, say no for an answer. Of course not. You have to say no 64 times. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. It's now your turn to play, <laughs> but I think I'm going to be kind to you. That would be nice. uh, This is using the full note system. There were two completely separate systems in the game. One is only used in the final game with a scarecrow, mm -hmm. but it allows you to do accents. You can press right button or the analog stick in different directions mm -hmm. to change the pitch. But it's kind of complicated, and it doesn't all fit in one screen, which is Probably why they, the developers decided not to use the full system and developed a, a second, shorter system instead. Mm -hmm. Interestingly, all songs are copied in both systems, mm -hmm. but uh, what we've done here is we're now using the full version. Since the song is a little tricky to get right, I think we'll have you practice a little bit. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So, yeah, we're going to take a little break. Uh, we'll be right back, and then uh, Sia will play the song flawlessly. So of course I will. We'll see you in a moment. Da sind wir wieder zurück nach der kleinen Pause. Eigentlich wollten wir sie ja jetzt eine halbe Stunde üben lassen. Der hat's first try dann geschafft. Ja, yeah, second, sagen wir second. Try. Second try, <lacht> mit ablesen. So, yeah, uh, we gave Sia ample time to train, but uh, someone like him doesn't need that much time. <lacht> It's okay. God apparently. gaming. <lacht> so, you just played uh, the full song of time. Yeah. Not in the normal game, you just have to play the first five or six notes, or which every song, yeah. then the, the rest of the game is doing it. Um, what if done, we can go back to the in-game. So we've learned the song now, and uh, the rest of the cutscene is playing. Yeah. Yes, and there's a message here that tells you something very unique about this song. Yeah, can you oh, read it? I will become a child. So no normally a, you have to you have to use the master sword. Yeah, if you want to get correct. back to a child thing, you have to go to the temple of time, put the sword back in, and then. Ah, but the very first time you pull the master sword, Ganon gets unleashed. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we don't want that. So we're not going to touch that Master Sword. Okay. Instead, what I want you to do is you can go and continue on and exit the fortress. Mm -hmm. if you want. Exit the the fastest exit is out that uh, up that ramp and to your left. Up that ramp? Yeah. All right. You might want your mask just in case. Oh, yeah. I have to put it back anyway on once yeah. we're out. There you like go. This. Now head out of this area. So you're going to go down off of here and to your left. Here? Yeah. yeah. Down here? Yep. All right. So back to the entrance. 
Okay, now oh, you're gonna account. get your first opportunity. No need. You're gonna oh, get no your need? first opportunity to become an adult. Okay. So pull out your ocarina and play the full song of time. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, you still have the with mask it, on. The mask, of <laughs> sure. Okay. Why not? Might as well. I guess the the ocarina goes up under. That's how it works. Uh. Oh no! I think, no? I, think, I think you slipped there. You slipped at the yeah, end. Yeah, maybe I did. Uh, can I try again? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, just play again. All right. Uh, this. Oops. Ooh, I heard it already. Yeah, I heard it. You'll have to start over. Yeah, but you don't have to get <laughs> out of the menu. <laughs> yeah. uh, all right. Uh, uh, Congratulations. Right. Awesome. Do I need this still? Or? You'll need it. You'll need to play the song again. Can you do it without the notes? Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but observe, you are now adult, Link. Oh, interesting. Look at me. <laughs> now, we All think that up. this was very much part of the original intention in, the te in that temple, that they would give you the ability to go back and forth in time at, at various points based on how the, the, the dungeon is laid out. But it likely would have broken everything else in the mm -hmm. game. So they probably just limited it and made it so you're only going okay. back to that time. And using, using a song uh, is uh, your interpretation, so to I speak. got a sword now! Yes, well, you had a sword, you just never equipped it. Oh, okay. oh that's, that's the big <laughs> So that's the bigger on sword. The big so sword, go into yeah. that tent there. Um, but that does mean we are still at the timeline with uh, Young Link. But just as an adult, or did ah, we switch? So over? that's what's interesting. Oh. We are now adult Link, but we did not oh, okay. pull the Master Sword, and we did not really scan it. So it's head on over and talk to the man in the corner, uh, the wh white man. In, uh, sorry, the the, the man in the white oh, clothes, yeah. uh, the running man, the postmaster. Wow, you're right up in his face. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he, he runs around in uh, the no actual Ocarina of Time. Yes. And he challenges us to a race. An unbeatable race. An unbeatable race. The Cost annoying... A lot of hours. Yes. So many people were frustrated with this running man. Because you cannot beat him. The mm -hmm. game will always make it so he beats you by one second. No matter how fast you go, he will always beat you by one second. So, you have a tool in your arsenal. Let's see if you use it. Uh, yeah, I do. So, uh, accept the challenge, right? Yes. Gives me a head start, huh? Yep. Now, you should go out to Hyrule Field first. Mm hmm So he has a tool to move a bit faster. I do, but I have to... Uh, Not yet. Not yet? Not yet. Okay. Head out to Hyrule Field. Oh, the bridge. This way? Yeah, the bridge to your left. Le a little more to the left. There you go. Oh, yeah. I'd rather you didn't fall. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, okay. almost. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Falling there would be I would say go a to considerable the, to the, detour. To the Zoras. <laughs> so, this way? Yes, that's correct. Oh, no, no I yet. don't want this. Not yet. Stop, 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 stop. Now, here's the problem. Uh, you're going to get all the way to Hyrule Field. Now, you can see the, the clock is going up here at 36, 37 seconds. If we were, even if we were to put the bunny hood on and run all the way across the field, it still wouldn't get, get us there fast enough. He would always beat us by one second. But you have one other tool in your arsenal. Can you think of what it is? Mm, nope. Well, it's all about time. The ocarina? Yes. So, uh... Well, you're currently adult, Link. Yeah. Oh, yeah, now I get it. Uh huh. I don't. <laughs> so if use you, your ocarina. Yeah, I would say if you tor turn back to Child Link, Child Link is the only one who can wear masks. <sighs> well, you're also warping through time. Oh yeah. So we, uh, I play the Correct. song again. Yes. All right. So I mean, we're not only arriving at two minutes and under two minutes thirty-eight, under two minutes thirty-eight and seven years. <laughs> That's really early. <laughs> 
Okay, so using using the song actually really transports no, us to seven years in the future. Uh, yeah. in, in this year, but it's a world where Ganon didn't take over the world because the Master Sword is still there. Correct. Okay. So and this is all some lore. The, the interesting thing about this is this is the special fourth timeline. Yes, that nobody knows about. Well, and it already has so many. Oh, I messed anyway. it up again. Uh, yeah, that, that, it's not easy. Ooh. Ooh, I heard it. I heard it. Let's try this again. Uh, oh. ah. It's tricky with the stick and the. You can button. hold the stick first and then press the button. Oh, okay, okay, I didn't need that. Yes. Well, that's, yes. that makes it easy. Yes. <laughs> And you can see the accents. This is something you can do in the real game and at the Scarecrow. Okay, now you have... Oh, the timer! Yeah. <laughs> so okay. you want to go the other direction now. The timer is now glitched because it's an extraordinarily large negative number. Okay. Uh, you went back into Gerudo Valley. You don't want to do that. Oh. You want yeah. to go back to the bridge on the Kokiri. Uh, uh, yeah, Kokiri Forest side. So you might want to give yourself the ma uh, the uh, bunny hood now if you wanted to make it a little bit faster. And you yeah. could do that by going into start and hitting L okay. and changing that value. It was, so it's uh, currently at 49. Yeah. yeah, you'll change that to 39. It's okay, because in game time, we went back these seven years, so this negative number at minutes and seconds glitches mm -hmm. out the counter. That's correct. And this is something that has happened to players that used Game Shark codes and things like that mm -hmm. in the past. All right, way to go. So go straight across the field. You're going to go back right to... Ausgang. Yeah. Here? Uh, on, the, on the map screen, you have to go to the uh, most right. All right. Yeah, you're going to go straight across, but you'll need to diverge a little bit. Now, what was really funny was when we did this at Summer Games Done Quick, by some chance, the time of day just happened to line up perfectly so that the running man from the child link era happened to be running across the field really? and we threw in the comment of there's the running man from child the child era he has no idea what's coming mm -hmm. there he is yep. there he is that him yeah, yeah that's him but he has no idea what's going to happen to him hey dude <laughs> hey, wait, i have to go this way right correct yeah well the running man has seven years to prepare and a couple of minutes uh, up there, I guess. Yeah, through the trees. Mm -hmm. All right, so one more time, you will play the Song of Time to go back into the future. All right. Eight. Mm. Ah. <laughs> it hurts. Yes, a little, but it's not easy. There you right. go. It's a lot easier when you can hold the yeah, yeah, accidental yeah, button, is, is what it's called. The only problem is the R and uh, right at the same time, but it's okay. Okay, so. So, where to go? Uh, he, you Well, you're counting down negative numbers. Oh, what, there he arrived. Ah, there he is. But you were already there, so you beat him. <laughs> Impossible! <laughs> I'm the running man! <laughs> <laughs> the fastest man in Hyrule! <laughs> he doesn't seem too happy. Uh, yeah. Meet me in the middle of Hyrule Field to get a special reward. Ooh. Hmm. Sounds interesting. So follow him? Yeah. That's nice of him. Yes. Oh, yeah. He's a good loser. Good sport. Oh, no, I didn't want. So, really? <laughs> I just wanted to put on my mask. You oh, I can't, I can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Adults don't wear masks. Oh, yeah, don't they you know? do, but, you know, this game so in, in Hyrule. Yet. Yes. Oh, where's, at least. where's the guy? Uh, go right. All right. Yeah. Right? Yeah, go straight forward there. All right. So in the middle of the field near London Farm, or? Yes. Let's just go up this hill Is it any bit. faster than running? I don't think. A little, know. it is. That's what most people do. 
It's was marginally it, faster. Yeah, uh, wasn't the, the early speedruns was uh, back jumping or was it side side, side jumping? Yeah. Side stepping was it all? Was and then speedrun? they figured out that you could do a backwards slide with a bomb jump. But yeah. So if you look to your left, you'll see something there. And there it is. Oh. This is our next piece of beta content. This is really on the cartridge. And it looks like you, a giant rupee. It is a giant rupee. It's a giant purple rupee. And when you touch it, Whoa. it blows up. This is its actual <laughs> behavior. <laughs> You fool! <laughs> I'm the running man! <laughs> this is the only one cheaters like you what? get! You cheater! Oh! Now he's attacking me? Well, you might want to hit him. He, he is the running man. Yo! Alright, alright, alright. <laughs> well, you gotta hit him, right? <laughs> Come on, man. Remember the Z targeting. <laughs> yeah, I. I can't. Whoa! <laughs> Is this, this guy is brutal! Is this a ninja drop? <laughs> um, I can't Z-target him. Oh, no, no. Okay, okay. I'm not so sure that's going to help you much. <laughs> Can I even beat him? Yes. All right. Boah. Come on, man. So yeah, Dwangu, you recommended to me to watch it in preparation. I was very shocked when uh, I saw the, the uh, run uh, of this at GDQ. I watched it beforehand to prepare. I was pretty shocked when this here happened. He finally showed his true <gasps> colors. I know, right? Okay, so you've already lost about half your hearts, so let's go cheese this a little bit. Okay. He's going to beat you up pretty badly if you're not careful. Uh, now, you can go into the debug menu to get more hearts, but that's embarrassing. So instead, go to the forefront of Lon Lon Ranch to your right. Yep, right there. Go toward that tree that you see there. Okay. Just ignore him. He'll just keep running around you. Was it a hurricane kick? Hey, oh, <laughs> I can't dodge hey, that. You now, Epona is sitting right there. So walk up to Epona and hit climb with the blue button. Uh, do it. Come on. It'll be a little uh, hard, but you'll get it. You get it. Oh, you get you it. it. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. There you go. There you go. Now, don't accidentally hit the blue button to get off of him again. Okay. Okay, now, run into him a few times. Oh. No one else knows about this. I can't move. You can. You use the, the control yeah, stick. Yeah, that. And you can hit B to go faster now. So oh. now you can cheese the fight by uh, running into him, and he can't actually do much damage to you now. So do that a few times. Huh. Yeah. That pony is overpowered. Yes. This kind of reminds me of uh, a certain horse, uh, a set of uh, saddle gear in a newer game where it would do damage. <laughs> so you could try to hit him, but he's very mean, especially if you're... Uh... Oh. Yeah, there you go. So this cheeses the fight a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't think anybody else knew that that, that could happen except me. But... <laughs> I sure love cheese. It does cause some interesting glitchery. So you're going to need to walk over to him. He's uh, sitting on the ground behind you. Oops. Behind me, okay. Yeah. Oh, come on, turn. All right. So he'll be down that hill just a little ways. Like here? To your right. There, there he is. is. Shameful. Uh. <laughs> well, you picked a very interesting camera angle. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, a better <laughs> cheater than you are. <laughs> better cheater than I am. So this is an interesting story that we added in based on lore, but it's worth reading. Yes, so it was how he became so fast. Yes. Beginning. Um, yeah, you can go on with the text. I think he, he found... It was a locket? Yes. Yeah. It was a golden locket. Hmm. An Anhänger of Deutsch. And so this locket made him, when he uh, was wearing it, run faster than light. I'm not sure that's actually possible, but... L light in Hyrule works differently. That's true. <laughs> so does time. But uh, running so fast has corrupted him, mm. so to speak. Just wanted to be the fa fastest man. He tried to kill you. Yes. <laughs> Well, so it's, it's, pre it's pretty fun uh, so to find a way to stitch all those be this beta content together to, to put this little, uh, the little stories in. Um, mm. The giant rupee you said, was it this size also? Yes. Um, yeah. yeah. And, it, and it actually did explode? It actually blows up. That's okay. real beta content from the cartridge. Now, what, interestingly, you ended up... <laughs> yeah, inside of, I'm not sure why that happens. Um, so the running man ran off into the sunset, although mm -hmm. the sun had already set. You mm -hmm. can hop on Epona and ride toward 
uh, uh, Zora's Domain. Whoa. Yo. Oh, yeah. Wow, that was fun. That was good. So uh, this so is up, right? up into the left. Uh, to well, the, now, to the right. Which well, now exit? The left exit? Left. Uh, okay, very far left now. Uh, <laughs> you're going the exact opposite direction of where oh, you need okay, to go. Okay. <laughs> yeah, on, on the map, uh, the upper right side on the map. Ah, correct. Yeah. Like this. Mm, close, yeah. A yeah, there's like a... Yeah, right there. Yeah, towards the Death Mountain. Mm -hmm. And you can use the blue button to go faster. So there's the fork off to the left that takes you to... No one can agree on the correct pronunciation of this, at least not in America. Kokiri, uh, uh, Kokoriki Village? This anyway, way? Turn to your right. It's actually headed toward Zora's Domain, so it'll yeah, be... Through the water? Yeah. Up, uh, yeah. Over there through the left side? Yep. So you'll have to hop off Epona, which you can do with the contact-sensitive button. So stop moving by pressing forward uh. a little bit. <clears throat> there you go, now you can hit down. Uh, okay. Okay, now you can head into Zora's Domain. Oh! What's nice. This? You have a lot of magic, apparently. Oh, okay. yes. The locket gave us double our magic oh. bar. Now, a little thing we haven't actually confessed to: we weren't actually able to double the total effective amount of magic that you have. Oh, and the okay. reason for that is that there's a lot of places that calculate it based on the max number that we physically didn't have enough room to put more into. Mm -hmm. So, to get through this section can be kind of tricky if you haven't done it very often. Go all the way to the fence and then angle to your right. Jump uh, over. Yeah, well, you can't jump over the fence, but yeah, just yeah, right there. There's a way up. Yeah. Okay. You have to look out to not fall into the water. Yeah, or you'll be taking up. a long walk. All right. I like walking. This way? Uh, sort of. Uh, I mm. guess. You can take that route. Uh, go to your right and walk forward. I miss my bunny mask. I know, right? <laughs> You're fine. Am I? Yes. <laughs> Wasn't obvious to tell there. I will say they learned a lot about camera mechanics in this game that yeah. then influenced so many games after it. And there's a lot of, of control mechanics that they discovered in this game. For instance, the Z-targeting, the fact that hitting Z orients your view behind Link, that was something that was not present in Super Mario 64, and they added here. Uh, yeah, this this part effect. specifically I always remember because it has so automatic camera yeah. to get now, up here. You, you could kind of sort of manipulate the camera in... Um, you want to go the other path there. This I don't way? think you can jump up. No! Oh, oh you got lucky. Oh, oh, you got really lucky. So walk Oof. back up there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was extraordinarily lucky. Yeah. Go to your left. And do you see that symbol there? Yeah. Well, that's an ocarina prompt. Ah, so... So, uh, just to give you a hint... This is going to be uh, Zelda's lullaby. So if you play that here, I, I give this back to you, I guess. Yeah, you won't need the whole song of time again. Uh, yeah, Zelda's lullaby isn't that hard, but let's... Okay, so pull out your ocarina. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be the top three buttons from left to right on your C-pad. This? Yep. I'm going to repeat it. Again. All right. So this is the intended normal way to get in. Now, your adult uh, Link, it's interesting they pull the camera back so they can show the waterfall party. So hop on into Zora's Domain. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> now, we're an adult, and in adult form, Zora's Domain is always frozen. So hop on over to the ice there. Down, down here? Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. Okay. So it's, I always thought it was frozen because something happened with uh, Ganondorf, but Ganondorf wasn't awakened here, so to speak. Yeah, so one of, that is one of the things that uh, we are curious about. Uh, no matter what, even if you, whether or not you've done anything with Ganondorf, it's always frozen. So there mm -hmm. must be some other cause. But go back out of the ice here. Mm -hmm. And uh, for a long, long time, people wanted to find a way to melt the ice in Zora's Domain. Well... The locket you picked up said that it enhanced a few things. Now, there's one interesting aspect that's also beta content that you're, you're going to be able to see here, mm -hmm. uh, which is go ahead and pull out your uh, menu there. And if you go uh, a screen to the right, I believe it is. Yeah, one more to the right. See that symbol? You have dense yeah. fire. Uh, you have dense fire. Well, if you select that red symbol on the right there, 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. The fire medallion, normally you can't equip this, but you can now. So if you assign it to a C button, mm -hmm. now you have the fire medallion and it's powered up. Now, this is something that was shown in pre-release and was coded into the game in prototype form, we mm -hmm. think, based on hints and different things that have leaked, but it was not part of the final game. Mm -hmm. But if you use this... Should I? Yeah, just get on the ice there and use that. All right. It, it transformed it back. Melts the ice. Now, you are now in water, but as an adult, you can do something that's pretty fun. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and go into your menu and equip, go to the right, and equip your iron boots. Those make you sink. Uh, equip. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I'm going. Oh, yeah, hit no. It doesn't matter if you hit yes, but okay. hit no. Uh, let's go, go hop into the water. Now that you're wearing your iron boots, they make you sink. So mm -hmm. go to your left. Yeah, you're okay. You'll get there in time. Go around that pillar and look to your right. There's this alcove here, and there's a doorway here. Hmm. And welcome to the Unicorn, Unicorn Fountain. Fountain. You're currently stomping around in iron boots. You can continue to do that if you so desire. <laughs> but have a look around at these unicorn heads. These are based on fan theories of things that were created. This was also based on some screenshots that were made uh, mm -hmm. in pre-release. The unicorn Triforce. This one looks up. Yes. So this was all recreated by the team based on acid. Oh no, I, did, I didn't mean to do this. It's okay. You, you burn it all down. Yes, you burn the unicorns. You, so, you horrible uh, person. You. Fan theories, what, what were they supposed to do? The unicorns? Uh, we don't know. Uh, but this is the unicorn fountain recreated from pre-release images that were leaked, or not leaked, more like uh, advertisements and things. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not entirely up on my lore on precisely which uh, media release this came from, but mm. if you look over there, there is a prompt uh, spot there. Now, this is obviously a prompt spot, but this one has a different symbol on it. It has an ocarina symbol. Mm -hmm. This is never used in the game, but this is actually in the cartridge. Okay. Okay, it's an ocarina prompt. Go ahead and pull out your ocarina, and like most prompts, it's going to be Zelda's lullaby, so that'll be left to right. Yep. Mm -hmm. At least they made it easy for you. <laughs> Now the unicorns become evil. Ah, this brings us guess. to our next piece of beta content, which is the Beta Great Fairy. Ah. This is in the same object file as the new fairy that you've normally been used to, mm -hmm. but uh, they decided not to use it. They used this in testing, and you can see it's very blocky. But yeah, it's not finished, I guess. Yeah, probably not. So this is the Beta Great Fairy. Personally, I like her appearance better. No offense. Mm. <laughs> but she has some important things to say. Wisdom of sages to guide you. Uh huh. Krieg ich das hin? Now you can I do it? You will have to play this again. So before you play it now, uh -huh. we should make sure we write it down just in case we forget it. Just, <laughs> just in a notepad. Um, it's up, down. A, right, left, up. Yeah. In, if you forget it, you will not be happy because it's not easy to, to discover it again. <laughs> Can you save this somehow, a, Greg? Up, down, A, right, left, up. All right. There you go. So as... As a melody, so a melody that you play, you're not able to play this song in the game. Normally. Not normally. Not normally. So you can play, but it does nothing on the... Not normally. This song is infamous. It was part of a photoshopped uh, fan theory that went viral. Uh, it, was a, it was someone trying to trick a community of glitch mm -hmm. hunters that this thing really was in the game. This and is all content uh, which is not in the game. This was made by fans and was a hoax, this but nevertheless, great. the Overture of Sages that you just played was the song that they claimed existed. And you can get, if you go to get triforce.link, you can... Yeah, that's, 
something I remember years ago reading up on the internet about yes, this kind of stuff, the, the early Ocarina hoaxes. Here you combined it with actual beta content like the uh, yes. fairy, the untextured fairy here. Yeah. So it's a really good time to say, uh, if you go to get Triforce.link, you can see all that we put in that was ours and everything that was original beta mm -hmm. content. So step off that platform so you're no longer standing on it, and you're going to need to use the Prelude of Light to warp back to the Temple of Time. So sorry to make you look that one up again. <laughs> Prelude of Light. Uh, yeah. While you're at it, you might want to take your boots off so you're not clumping all over the place. Uh, yeah. Give me a second. Do it faster. <laughs> Yeah, that was the one thing that right. was pretty uh, right. useful with the 3DS version. You can just... Yes, that was a very nice... Don't have to get to the menu all the time. All right, thanks. I have to say, on the, on the 3DS, it's a, it's a good version, but I kind of still prefer, because of nostalgia, that one. And I actually think Majora's Mask is better in the original than on the 3DS. I understand. I had never played it on the 3DS, but only Ocarina of Time on it's the 3DS. Not, it's, it's still a good game, but not that good. So before you go on, walk outside and have a look. Now remember, in this area as Adult Link, the castle town is a complete wreck. Yeah. There's, it's a mess, it, the, the, everything's horrible. But if you go into town now, you'll see that it's all intact. The people are still happy. Everything is the way it ought to be because we never actually touched the Master Sword and we never released Ganon. Oh, wait a minute. Or like this. <laughs> I forgot to, uh, yeah, okay. So technically well, we didn't have people to, we, we said that we didn't, but we actually forgot yeah. that part. <laughs> oh, okay. uh, so ignore that you saw those. So um, th this this never happened. This never happened. This so I have back, to go back. Go back to the. Yeah, go back. Get out of here. <laughs> uh, so our story is. Well, I, the reason I had you leave the temple is because of a few things that we did and the order we did them in. If you don't exit the temple and go back in, we had a small glitch that mm -hmm. would appear. Mm -hmm. Okay. That wasn't it wasn't bad. Just a graphical glitch, but this was our excuse for. I mean, but I forgot that you can't actually go all the way into town because we didn't patch that. Yeah, that would have been quite a bit of extra work for just taking right. a look. Right, yeah. And we, we built all of this for a live presentation at a charity event. Okay. Um, so go ahead and go back into the Temple of Time, not that uh, direction. Yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Mm. So we, we're actually, we showed under our skirt a little bit. Yeah. So, so <laughs> in in the game, we're in the future, but the uh, unaltered future. So without Ganondorf destroying everything. Right. That's the storyline that we created. Now yeah. uh, you can see that we carefully crafted and curated the story just for the exact path we were going on because we didn't make this as a ROM hack. It's more like mm -hmm. a RAM hack, as some folks started calling it, which makes sense. Uh, what you want to do now, though is your old friend, the Full Song of Time, one last time. Okay. You're going to go up to, not there, you're going to go up to that pedestal there, and you'll note that there are the three symbols there. Well, we added through the debug menu that you had completed all the temples. Mm -hmm. In fact, we added that you completed all of the temples. Okay. So, you have all of the symbols you need here, so you'll just play your ocarina. And you'll have to play yeah. the full song of time here. There's your okay. cheat notes. So, you've, <laughs> you've never been as youngling uh, in here, you didn't open the door, uh, didn't use yeah. the uh, items you get, and you never pulled out the Master Sword. Correct. Easy. Huh? Easy peasy. Now you've got it down. Now, obviously, th we carefully planned out the exact route that we showed because we knew that Save State was very good at this game and they were not going to make any mistakes. Mm -hmm. So we didn't need to put anything out of bounds. In fact, if you had made a mistake and accidentally walked back out of the uh, Zora's domain area, mm -hmm. you would have warped someplace we did not want you to go. Okay. Because we reused that exit. Now, something to note here, the animation works fine as Adult Link, and in fact, uh, you can play it and it will work, and you see all this stuff happen, but you can't open the door. The door will not open for you. It's almost as if... Uh, you don't have everything it it knows you're cheating so and normally of course now we are on the quest and we open the door correct now don't pull the sword but if you read what the great fairy told you mm -hmm. you're supposed to walk up to the sword and instead of pulling it out you want to play the song from the uh, i believe it was overture of sages is the name of it is it oh uh, yeah the one oh yeah the, 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 yeah the one we wrote down now, because you've never been here at all before, mm -hmm. it's playing the initial cutscene. Okay. It is interesting that you're approaching this as adult, Link. But 
Legendary Blade. So walk up, but don't pull the Master Sword. Mm -hmm. Just pull out your ocarina. Just get on the platform a little closer. Yeah, next one up, the one with the Triforce on it. In front of the sword, I would say. Yeah. Although it's interesting that you're seeing all of these symbols on the, mm, on the floor yeah. here. They'll this be important one. in a second. Nope, just walk up the, the pedestal. Oh, oh, oh okay. Yeah, okay, right okay. there. So don't pull the Master Sword, but stand right there and play your ocarina. Mm -hmm. And you're going to play so, this song. Up. Up. Down. A. Right. Left. Up. Yeah. That's the song from the ferry, right? Yeah. And this song that you're hearing was composed uh, by our team this based on the round. notes. Based on the notes with here? which word? You're, yeah. you're not far enough over. Uh, yeah. Oh. Stand right in front of the sword, maybe? Yeah, you got to be a little bit closer. The hitbox is like a this? Yeah. Yeah. That was interesting. <laughs> well, I'm glad we did again. not do that on accident. Let's do it again. Probably the grab prompt has to be there or something like this. Uh, up, down, A, right, left, up. Hopefully you're close enough now. Uh, there's a hitbox that is activated. We actually did everything the way the game intends. Mm -hmm. So we made a hitbox around the Master Sword, and if you're not standing within that range, it will not do it. No, it's working. Otherwise, you, you probably could warp everywhere uh, yeah. with this song. <laughs> so uh, we, we did it the way the game designed it to. So I'm going to take a step back and let you enjoy the story. Keep mm -hmm. in mind that because we use the debug menu to give ourselves all of the completion tokens and symbols from all of the temples, um, it's as if we had completed all of the quests in the game and we've now reached this final scene. <laughs> Uh, normally in the game, Link is never actually there, or is he? he you don't have control of him here. Yeah, ever. yeah, yeah. But here's where the sages all gather, once you collect them, so to speak. Mm -hmm. uh, do yourself a favor, please don't fall off the platform. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, so... You'll go up the stairs that appeared? Dangerous. Primo. <laughs> but yeah, that, that was another part when I've seen it uh, during your GDQ <coughs> showcase. Just to be in this location and be able to walk around feels kind of special. It is. And there's a lot of emotion that's built up. Imagine in your mind's eye, you met each of these characters that are giving you their blessing, that you helped each of them, that mm -hmm. you did something for them. Your heart is in balance. You have a symbol of courage, you have a symbol of power, you have a symbol of wisdom and all are in balance in your heart. I've never seen this dude. <laughs> Don't you remember him? I do. That's the sound he makes. <laughs> <laughs> he had a very interesting English pun about being rock solid. <laughs> I've never seen her too. Oh, sure. In this run, not oh, that's, that's, oh, that's, yeah. that's your wife to be. Oh, yes. <laughs> Don't you remember her? Yeah. So all the sages have to say something to us, since we managed this feat. I know her. Yes. Just for curiosity, what happens if I fall down the platform? You have to walk back up and do all of this all over again. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> or rather, it warps you back up, and you really don't want to have to do that. Okay. <laughs> we old Impa. This should be the final one. Yeah. It's chic. There she is. What? He is. Uh, he, I guess. Hmm. That's interesting. So you adapted the dialogue, or you made the dialogue here to 
reflect the relation, re, uh, relationship between the two? Yes. All of the dialogue you've been seeing has been written by the writing team that was involved in the project. Now, you have a choice here. <laughs> Now, I know you probably want to know the answer to the bottom one, mm -hmm. but I'll just give you a hint. She's not going to quite, or he's not going to quite tell you a straight answer. But you <laughs> should you should ask that first question just to see what happens. Okay. <laughs> That's right. Okay. Smash Brothers destroyed everything. <laughs> That would be nice. I have yeah, to say. it would. A uh, full-fledged stealth action game with Sheik. Yes. Be great. <coughs> so as we walk up this staircase, I want to remind everyone who's watching, listening to this, that. Everything you're seeing is happening on the original Nintendo 64. Mm. We haven't modified anything other than that one little bit of code. And yeah, I'm like, doing it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're walking in. That scene you just saw was in the game as beta con content as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's it. Right? Standing? Oh, that's the, the famous Triforce screenshot. And I already told you, oh. uh, Dwango, when I saw this, I really became a little bit misty-eyed. I have to say, after all <laughs> these uh, decades, you have to say, you yeah, after, after, after the world 23 has years, come true. the dreams of millions of players have finally come true. So this, this screenshot with the uh, uh, Triforce, you never get to this part, can't get to the part in a normal game. Mm -hmm. It was a very famous screenshot that went around the internet, the early internet. Many people were trying to figure out how. Uh, how much of this was already in the beta content? Was there a model of the Triforce on the... No. The only model on the Triforce is the one used in a cutscene. Yeah, I think at the beginning with the uh, history. Yes. Yeah. But here you have the goddesses of the Triforce speaking directly to you telepathically. But now there's a final test. When I watched up to here, and then I shut it off because I wanted to be surprised. So now you can surprise me with everything. <laughs> well, it will be a surprise, and it is very special to me. Ooh, King of Hyrule, this rupees, is the final test. Money, see the future. Money, of course. Mm. Nah. This is the final test. Yeah, but the goddesses. Th think about: Do, do you want to be? A, do you want to really be king? Or do you want to be a good person? No, man. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be king with rupees. <laughs> no. Let's be king. Oh, sorry. I should have warned you. Oh. Your wish has been granted. Um, that option will not do anything. Oh. The only option that actually is coded in is see the future. And we m made that force you to that option in case we messed up mm -hmm. on stage. Ah, uh, okay. But the test was to make sure that you wanted to see the future. Yeah. Okay. So well, now I'm seeing the future. So yes. now you're okay. seeing the future. You are seeing the future. Okay. And this is the Nintendo 64. This isn't streamed video like we've done in the past. This is all in engine. Hmm. Okay. Oh, hey. come on. Wow. <laughs> Very, okay, that's, that's really nice. Wow. They specifically made made uh, carefully model. Oh, yeah, footsteps. And correct ones, too. Mm-hmm. Don't 
type, yeah. It we're, was we're... at this moment in the game where we asked everyone in chat to participate. Now, obviously, mm -hmm. you, we can't hear, but... Give your power to Goku. Yeah. 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 So, you, you have actually voice acting in there, so programmed yeah. through test bots. Yeah, we'll uh, talk about it in the credits. Uh, so, go ahead and continue on. All right. Look! At this moment, imagine this sky full of names from the over 150,000 oh, people oh, okay. watching oh. online, typing here together, and their names appearing here together from inside wow. of the room at Games Done Quick, from around <laughs> the world, after two and a half years of being in a pandemic, after so much time separated, it was an opportunity for us to come together. And this was such a moving experience, seeing hundreds and thousands wow. of names appear. <laughs> name after name lagging a little bit because we broke twitch chat because of the sheer <laughs> volume of messages coming through the emotion that hits in this feeling was kind of hard to explain yeah sounds kind of amazing now i want to see the gdq run of course yes you've done a very good job thank you you too <laughs> there's a little bit left <laughs> that was awesome. This credit sequence shows all of the people that were involved in making this happen with a special thanks to Soren, our director, and Save State, our runner. A lot of folks contributed that you can see here on screen right now. This effort was over 25 people over the course of over two and a half years from the moment that we discovered arbitrary code execution in the game Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Mm -hmm. There's been a desire to do something meaningful to it and with it. My own son contributed to the credit scenes that you see here. I did some of these credit scenes myself as well, so I contributed to this run in a mm -hmm. way. Um, each of us brought a different skill and a different talent and passion from the voice actress and voice actors uh, that played the new parts of Breath of the Wild, Zelda, and Link to the writers who helped stitched together a story that was coherent. The custom graphics, the folks that adapted the models so that we could put cell-shaded Breath of the Wild characters <laughs> into the Nintendo 64. Crazy. There are so many people with so much talent, heart, and passion that put their energy into what you see here. Amazing work. On top of all of the people inside of the core team developing this, we also partnered with several content creators You'll see their names here on screen here. Our partner creators, as well as partner reactors, who helped raise awareness of what we were doing. One of the most amazing things about... What, yes, and they really did release the soundtrack. <laughs> um, oh, one other piece of beta content. This was widely rumored that there was a pyramid in the desert. But you couldn't usually see it, but if you look through the fog very carefully... Oh, it is. look at this. Mm. Yes. One of the things that is so amazing about what we've done here is this run on its own, one hour of content at Summer Games Done Quick 2022 helped raise over $227,000 wow. for Doctors Without Borders. I can't thank the team enough. First of all, thanking Nintendo for creating this wonderful game that we were able to make a transformative art with. For everyone involved, thank you. Thank you. Well, yeah. that wasn't... Excellent experience. <laughs> it was so great. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm really happy to be a uh, part of it because I played it. <laughs> There's nothing you can do from here. If you hit any buttons, you'll just get a green return yeah, button. You, yeah, you, can, <laughs> okay. you can put yourself on uh, number one on the leaderboard. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Safe but, state might have you. Uh, but Wenger, <laughs> also from, from my side, very, very impressive. Thank you for coming over and showcasing this uh, with us together here. And please extend our thanks to all the people you mentioned yes, that uh, helped in, in making this. This is a wonderful tribute uh, to one of the best times 
uh, games of all time. And I think a lot of people uh, were also touched emotionally, uh, especially uh, since uh, this is such an important game for a lot of people. Yes, it's possible I might have misspoken about some technical detail, running a little low on sleep. And oh, we'll, we'll, we'll delete the advantage comments. Of the team. <laughs> oh, yeah, we'll delete anything I said wrong. <laughs> just, just um, delete them. Uh, but uh, again, a huge thanks to our director, Soren, for pulling everyone together. I acted as the executive producer, which uh, was a wonderful role to be in. This was a lot like creating a movie. And while we're on a speedrun-oriented channel, the only speedrunning that technically happened here was Taskbot mashing millions of buttons in order <laughs> uh, to make this happen. If you would like to know how this was done, the technical details behind how we took over the game, the four separate bootloaders that we used to then ultimately load a hyperspeed loader to then transfer data across controller ports two, three, and four, while the player was able to continue to play on controller port one mm -hmm. over the course of about yep. seven minutes of transferring data. If you'd like to know how that process worked as well as the initial ACE, head on over to our partner creator, Retro Game Mechanics Explained. Uh, he has an explainer video that goes through all of those details. Uh, we also have a website where you can see more information about this run. It is mm -hmm. at gettriforce.link. If you'd like to know more about the TASBOT community of playing content back on real consoles, you can go to tas.bot or Join us in our community. We have a fair number of people who speak German there. Mm -hmm. uh, mostly conversation in English, but some people speak German there. It is at discord.gg slash taskbot, or if we happen to lose our link yet again, uh, discord.task.bot will also get you there. That is the main community for mm -hmm. the taskbot efforts. And yeah. Uh, yeah. Send me over the links and I can put it in the YouTube description certainly. so it's easier for everyone. Uh, I am Duango AC. Um, the main channel that I put Taskbot content on is Duango AC on YouTube. Occasionally I'll stream on Twitch as well. So you can mm -hmm. find this content here uh, or there as well. Uh, and I want to thank you guys so much for allowing me in the show. Uh, there's so many technical things that happen and so many interesting things. Anything you want to know about? <laughs> so where where to start? So <laughs> I, I already tried to to ask, but uh, I, I'm interested with the voice acting. So we saw the the speakers you got there that put the voices in there. So how much uh, space did it take up from the megabytes? You said you had two two point five megabytes about from the expansion pack you used. Correct. Uh, what what was the compression there? Well, it wasn't horribly compressed, which is why yeah, the that's... voice acting alone took up approximately one third of that day. Oh, okay. mm. yeah. The Quite models nice. of Breath of the Wild uh, characters of Link and Zelda and all of the various different custom artwork there, that took another third. And the other third was the minor things we did, the cutscene camera work and the uh, text, all of the text you saw throughout mm -hmm. the screens, all of the code that we used to stitch everything together took the last third. Yeah, was, was there something you had to take out uh, in the last minute? So you, you have, to, no. of course, you, you had a deadline with the GDQ. Part of what made this interesting is, uh, if you have not seen this, but mm -hmm. uh, we ran this at Summer Games Done Quick 2022, which was the first live event. Mm -hmm. We had hopes that AGDQ 2022 would be the first live event. So oh. we had planned initially to use that time slot and okay. or use that, that event. But... It couldn't be held in person. And this run needed to be done in front of a live audience. Even today, I have people in my YouTube comments saying, there's no way you did that on a real console. There's no mm -hmm. way you could get cell shading <laughs> on a Nintendo 64. Now, granted, we are using the original cartridge. We are using the original Nintendo 64 for what we did at Summer Games Done Quick. Here, the only difference was just that 271 byte change. But this really is the original hardware. However, a lot of development has happened since the Nintendo 64 came out. And this was one of the earlier games they were working on, along with Super Mario 64. Uh, they did extend the deadline for the creation of this game uh, to put more content in it, but they'd already started with the original engine, and they didn't really change it much. Later on in the N64 life, there were several tricks that were discovered mm -hmm. to eke a little bit more out of the hardware, especially mm -hmm. the graphics processing. And we took advantage of some things that were learned as well as wrote our own new code. Uh, Soren, again, absolutely did an amazing job. There are other people that contributed to that by far, uh, absolutely that uh, helped with that. But we wrote new microcode for the graphics processing to increase the performance of 
the rendering engine and to allow us to do that ending scene hmm. at generally 20 frames per second, which is the native speed of this console. Every once in a while, it would drop a little bit below, but uh, we really did do this on a console. It's amazing how many people can't believe it. And what's really fascinating to me is the same thing that you mentioned. So many people wonder, how did you do voice acting? And the answer is the same way as, hey, listen. It's just the same audio format. Mm, we just transferred okay. it into the expansion pack and played it back. And way less annoying. <laughs> <laughs> way less frequent, but also a lot longer. We did burn quite a bit of space to do that, and these mm -hmm. cartridges did not have an, an excessive amount of space. We call this a RAM hack. That term was not something that our team used at any point during the development, but I've adopted it after someone mentioned it in a YouTube comment because it makes sense. The moment you turn this console off, everything you did is gone. Mm. Everything we wrote to the expansion expansion pack memory so sad. is ephemeral. Another challenge, I'm so sorry, you can't play this yourself, viewers at home. We can't release this. Nintendo would not be very happy. Mm, I course. took my original cartridge, and because there's no cryptographic aspects to it, I was able to legally make a backup copy, operate on that backup copy, develop everything on that backup mm. copy. So our performance here today was completely legal. But if we were to release the assets, of course. then we would be running afoul. So yep. unfortunately, we can't release it. However, if you go to the gettriforce.link website, you will see there is a GitHub repository with everything we were able to release publicly, including all of the coding around this, uh, the chat interaction, all of it is there for, uh, for consumption, just none of the assets that touched Nintendo <laughs> properties. So I'm a, uh, one of the few people who actually played this That's right. right. Yeah. Oh, you are one of <laughs> only. I feel honored. <laughs> I am only aware of two other people, Save State themselves, and look at this. Look at yeah. this. We had a Tony at Hard for Games also play through it, but as far as I know, you're only the third person in the world wow. to have played through this on, so, on camera. So you're top three. <laughs> yeah, no you are in fact top three. Wow. You might be top two. Tony took a while. Okay, okay. That's I can be Tony. That first song of time was, was really challenging. <laughs> no, it was uh, really great. I really enjoyed it. And uh, with your help and your guidance, uh, guidance, uh, it was really, really great. See, uh, do you, A lot you, of fun. Will you start now uh, normal Ocarina speedruns? Uh, I don't think so. I'm <laughs> still stuck with uh, Link to the Past. <laughs> Ooh, Shame I you. do have to admit, I like my Link to the Past rando. Yeah, I, I play the same. I mm -hmm. always play Rando. <laughs> we'll, we'll have to play sometime. Maybe we should. You will stop me. I'm out of practice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, say, uh, thank you once again. Thank you for your time. Thank you for coming over here and presenting this. Of course, uh, if the uh, uh, opportunity should arise, you of course welcome welcome back. Of course. Yeah. And uh, if you have new things to show to us, Testbot can come also with you. If you have them, and uh, is there something uh, that's uh, in store for you or anything you would uh, like to say to the people to get to watch? Well, I would say every event we do content at, we get asked, well, how are you going to top that? And I feel like this run is so special and so meaningful. I don't know if we can top that. I don't know where we go from here. Maybe space. <laughs> But... We are going to continue to make content like this for charity. Please do, yeah. Uh, we want to keep developing things. And I don't know exactly what that looks like yet, but I can tell you we have a wonderful community of welcoming folks with a wide variety of skills. So come to the uh, discord.gg slash taskbot community in particular. That's our home. If you happen to be someone who's still on IRC, you can go to Libera Chat to set the Taskbot channel if you want to do that as well. We have that bridge. Uh, I have ICQ. You know, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with that. I still know my seven-digit ICQ number. Um, but, um, well, I only got seven digits. It's a pretty early one then. Yes. I have eight. Oh. Sorry. What can I do? What can I do there? I know. But um, if you, uh, let's do this in English once, uh, one, uh, for one time. Mm -hmm. If you want to be here on uh, camera and showcase your runs, maybe test, maybe not test, we got an email address, speedrandale at rocketbeans.tv. Or otherwise, you can go directly to Sia mm -hmm. at uh, Twitter at Simiclove uh, or twitch.tv slash Simiclove 101. Yep. Are you training something? Uh, I will train soon. I will start training again, uh, speed run, but I won't tell right now. 
Okay, mm. so it's a secret. Yeah, uh, we hope we will see you again. We hope we will see Dwango and uh, Testbot again. And of course, every one of you next time when it's time for Speedrun Dale. I guess. Like <laughs> Tasper did a lot of speedrunning. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> bye bye. Bye. <laughs>